When we ask players from other teams, when I ask them um, who they are looking forward to playing against the most or who who they think is a formidable team, marami nagsabi, itong team na to, itong Cherry Tigo crossover. So, tignan natin ang kanilang projected starters, ha? Jasmine Nabor at setter. And because the Lowry sisters are not playing, I looked at the lineup, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sir Joey, yeah, but these are potential open spikers to start. Elaine Casilag and Janine Navarro. Potential. Janine Navarro is ano, injured and will not oh. play. Oh, okay. So if not Janine, sino kasama ni Casilag? Adorador. I think Adorador. Yes. Adorador would be the other open spiker, sir. Yes. Okay. So Casilag and Adorador, Jaja and Dindin, Mylene Paat at opposite, and yes. Libero Buding Duremdes. Tapos coach si coach Aaron Velez. Yes. Yes. All right. So, how big is the 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 um, absence of Aya and and EJ for Cherry Tigo? And do you agree with with uh, the player sentiment? Na you know, this is a team that they should watch out for. Oh, dahil malalim din to, eh. parang clean blind din to. Eh. Hmm. Kung bago ako nandito sila sila Laurie sisters, malakas nito sobra. Pero kahit wala sila, malakas pa rin to dahil pag inaano mo si Paat isa sa pinakamagaling na players natin pag sa international and of course Nabor one of our best setters di ba mm. kasi lang and adorador of course so marami nga nang sa of course Jaja Jaja mm. is the main weapon of Cherry Tigo na tingin ko kaya nang dalhin tong team na to mm. okay even without the Laurie sisters mm. all right what about the coaching of uh, Coach Aaron Velez? Uh, what, what do you think about him? Because um, he was part of NU before, right? And then primarily, alam ko, ang, ang role niya is with the strength and conditioning. So now he's at the helm of this Cherry Tigo crossover squad. How do you think his influence will rub on the players? I've, I've talked to Coach, I think. And uh, he keeps, uh, pra- I know, he keeps praise, uh, he keeps uh, talking about conditioning. So, hmm. ito nga, diba? So, number one factor, kahit anong galing mo, kundi ka condition. So, dito pa lang, alam mo na na Cherry Tigo would be one of the fittest teams because of the coach na 2-in-1. Hmm. So, and, fit <laughs> motivator din tong si coach dahil nakausap ko na to dati na kapi ako, kaya niya akong, alam mo yun, kumbaga, kung may pagbibili siya sa akin, kaya niya ako i-convince. Ah. So, ganun siya kagaling mag-motivate ng players. And with this kind of talent, mm-hmm. kaya niyang ano yun to. Kaya niyang i-handle yung ganitong kalakas na talent ng Cherry Tigo. Mm-hmm. Sir Joey, final four contender pa rin ba tong Cherry Tigo even without the Lowry sisters? I think they're not just uh, final four contender, title contenders din to. If the stars align. Mm-hmm. Okay. For me. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.